Walking the Black Love Matters for this service of therapy session for figuring out dollhood. Loving each other. Or find her in a Brock Michelle. Or Jay-Z and Beyonce. Or this one we gonna go to the newlyweds. Shout out to Safari and Erica Mena. They done tied the knot in New Jersey at a castle. This real life? Real life. It's on me on Love and Hip Hop. What do you mean in real life? What other life? What alternate reality would it take place in? Mm, fictional. Love and Hip Hop. Love and Hip Hop. Kingdom. Right. Of lies and fallacies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, they really got married. TMZ recorded it. Oh. They showed their beautiful rings. Um, you know, she pregnant and they just live his their best life. Oh, okay. Shout out to them. This castle looked familiar. What do you mean it looks familiar? You have you been there? No. Huh. Somebody got married there. You know? Yandy. <laughs> it's the love and hip hop um wedding venue. Yes. Or was it uh Remy Ma? Remy Ma. Remember remember when Remy Ma was getting married and she talking about she wanted a skating ring and she wanted a I want a winter wonderland. What's that New York at today be doing? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Remy Ma, she been uh I I don't watch the state I actually I shouldn't say I don't watch it. I watch it, but I don't really pay attention to it. Every time I see State of the Culture, I put it on and I end up like looking at my phone or leaving the room because like power confidential it's the same energy to me. Like, it's like super quiet. You can hear pins dropping. Mm-hmm. It's like you can hear the producer in the background going. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's the same castle. It probably is the same castle. Um, so I don't know. What, wait, I was on a tangent. Oh. What I was talking about? The state of the. Oh, no, I was saying how Remy Mob. I've been hearing she's saying problematic stuff. I haven't digged into it, nor have I seen what she said. Mm-hmm. Remy Ma, oh, come on, y'all. Let's be for real. I, like, I know she knocked the bitch upside the head with a bottle, but she's pretty conservative. So I'm not sure why some of her stances surprise folks because they're just really conservative. Mm-hmm. And just because she walk around the metal detectors does not mean that she cannot have. Yeah, yeah she do. Exactly, she, she walk around. Uh, she do because she sport NRA. Let me stop. <laughs> no, Remy ain't say that. No, no, she ain't say all that. But some of her views are just a little bit more conservative than I think we're used to seeing black women take a stance on, especially black women of power. And I would consider um, that her. And black women who are in power and black women have a voice. And usually if we see black women who are, we see they're like ultra conservative. Mm-hmm. So what's that girl? I don't, I don't even need to hear her know. Like, you know, what's that conservative black girl? Candace Owens. Yeah, like usually it's either that or somebody on the other end. Remy Ma kind of moderate, right? So some views she's super liberal on, some stuff she's super conservative on. And mm-hmm. I think that's what she kind of run into sometimes. But I, I need to watch it. I don't know what y'all talking about this week. Getting on her head about. Oh. Anyway, but anyway, shout out to Safari and Erica. I hope they have years of joy, love, happiness, wealth, set, success, and everything else. And I know they're going to have a beautiful brown chocolate baby. Mm-hmm. And that baby's going to come out in a fur coat. And either way, it's all going to play out nice and well on Love and Hip Hop. Is that New York? We're going to be... Is that? I yeah, don't know, because Safari, Safari was, on, on all it was of all of them. It's where they would like to that live. That nigga doesn't move. He, was just, you know, he said, no, you know what, Mona, I'm trying to keep this check, so I'm going to go wherever y'all go. Dude, y'all gonna, he is literally working like a Jamaican. He was like, y'all in L.A.? <laughs> okay, I'm in L.A. Are y'all in New York? Me too. Oh, guess what? I'm there too. Oh, y'all in Miami? I like was he the in sun. Atlanta? Or is that the yeah. Because <laughs> that's where he met Erica Mena. Yeah. Or is it Erica Mena did- no, he almost said Detroit. No. Is Erica Mena New York or No, she was right. in Atlanta. She was in the last Atlanta. Oh, did he? Oh. So this nigga to be he? traveling. How they pie Next up? thing you know, his ass gonna be on Team Mom. His ass pawned the replay <laughs> on down to Atlanta. How did he get on there? So I guess Erica Mena, Menina. Mena and him could just decide where they want to live. I would suggest Atlanta the lower cost of living. Mm-hmm. And be closer to Tyler. Or period. they should just start a new franchise, Love and Hip Hop Houston. They have a really lower cost of living. Mm-hmm. Or they can go on Love and Hip Hop um, Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> ouch, ouch. That's what we going to talk about. <laughs> Y'all watching Love and Hip Hop um, Al- Alabama, a.k.a. What is the real name of it? Love and Marriage. Love and yeah. Marriage, Huntsville. <laughs> Y'all see what Martell and them shouting about. We going to talk about it on the podcast. It's on on Melanie in the bed like she's 15. I might be pregnant. I thought he was sleeping in the bed upstairs. <laughs> Do you sleep in the bed upstairs too, Melanie? <laughs> it, probably. Because <laughs> that's all she kept saying. Martel, what's his name? Martel is in the bed upstairs, honey, and I sleep downstairs. Oh, now you're nauseous, bitch. Somebody's lying. Mm, maybe Who's you? it's the other nigga. 
No. <laughs> Ooh, that'd have really throw a wrench in the story because she'd give him the business for cheating. Mm-hmm. And no one should cheat. If you made a grace based covenant and a part of that covenant, you were just going to fuck with each other forever. Mm-hmm. You do get to be in a doghouse a little bit. You just don't get to slither out of that. And he was like, everybody, what? The? Look, we already jumped to it. Why that nigga excuse almost like ain't everybody doing it? <laughs> nah, I'm somebody mama. If everybody jump off the fucking bridge, are you going to do it, you stupid Negro? If somebody chasing me. Okay. I'm near him. Now you slow. <laughs> I'm Nyambi. And this is episode 286, y'all. Hey. Uh, be sure to leave one, two, three, four, five star rating review on Apple Podcasts and no stitcher. And follow us on all forms of social media. Black Love Matters. That's Black with no K. What's going on, baby? Um, not much for me. Can we just give some due diligence where due diligence is deserved? First, shout out to motherfucking Tyler Perry, the Nets black millionaire on the ri- billionaire on the rise. He just opened his studio, which is bigger than what Universal, Time Warner, and Disney combined. Mm. All of those that can fit on his plantation. Because mm-hmm. what did he say? It was a Confederate army base. Yep. And now a black man own it. Look mm-hmm. at God. He made sure he mentions that in every interview. I would too. <laughs> Shout out to him. Um, not only did he do that, he had a star-studded weekend. He had every black person in media except there. For, except for Nira Nyambi. Except Nira Nyambi. Tyler, now, you know, we'll have to clean it up a little bit for Tyler. But I don't know. No, Nobody's fool was dropping some F-bombs. So maybe we can be Tyler Perry after dark. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I'm media trained enough to pull back the cussing. It ain't going to come off as authentic. Oh, I do. I can do it. You can do it. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm going to be quiet the whole episode. I'm gonna, never mind, I'm gonna start some shit started. I'm not gonna do it. But shout out to him. Star studded. Everyone's there. I keep looking at clips. And I'm Oprah who's crying as the choir is marching in singing, God is trying to tell you something from the color purple sung by Avery Wilson. Like, can we just for a moment? Did you see the clip of Oprah now? Mm-hmm. When she was just, <laughs> that'd have been me. That's Nyambi hollering. <laughs> can we also talk about how. He has all these studio lots named after folks. Holly Berry, Denzel Washington, Diane Carroll. The list goes Will Smith on and on. City Poitier. My favorite, Spike Lee. Mm-hmm. If Spike Lee was in there too with them ill-fitting clothes. Mm-hmm. Like, can we talk about how Spike was talking a lot of what? Shit. Shit. <laughs> about Tyler Perry and what Tyler Perry's do. Gave him a lot. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure, literally, a lot. <laughs> and I'm sure he, Spike Lee going to do some of them boring-ass films on there, too. I would. But I know I'm starting shit and I'm teasing, but I am so happy that Tyler got this opportunity. And I'm also so happy that he brought Black Hollywood together. And I'm happy that him and Spike Lee was able to set their differences aside. You know, and they grown men. It should be no surprise to me. But a lot of time, it's a lot of shade being thrown. And mm-hmm. that just didn't happen at all. And I was just super, super grateful for that. And Tyler kept telling us, niggas, you got to own it. Stop selling it. And, you know, we was talking shit about acrimony. <laughs> acrimony got him this studio lot. <laughs> sure did. Acrimony is the best movie. What year it come out? 2017? Yeah. It's the best movie of 2017. And... Just I, also the black intellects. We get on Tyler Perry. I put myself in that. Day. Sometimes I get on him a lot. But the difference between me and some of the other black intellects is I go see every Tyler Perry movie. I might talk a little shit like Medea Fu- Funeral Trash, right? I might talk some shit, but I do support that man. But and he's just doing it. I know I'm jumbled. What you think, Aaron? I think it was dope. The thing is, this is we don't even know how, like how this is going to even affect future generations the trick oh how many nigga how many and you, people forget tyler perry got a son nigga who is tyler perry's son what's his name tyler perry about to be on some universal studios rich universal studios rich this and nigga. you niggas was mad because he dressed up like Medea. give me the dress give me the, the suit what do i need to do <laughs> Give me the dress. Because <laughs> you niggas was talking shit. Yeah, but like, damn. Kudos to you, man. This is like what what, what it means to like fucking move in silence. Yeah. Because this nigga was moving in silence. For and years. next thing you know. Not only, he, I would say beyond moving in silence, niggas was trashing him. Mm-hmm. Niggas was giving Tyler Perry a hard time. Now everybody friends. 
I ain't no Beyonce Tyler Perry hangout. Who are all these niggas? <laughs> Tyler Perry might have already stalked these niggas. Instead of killing them, he said, I'm going to invite them all right. to my home and let them just look. <laughs> what he said, the Lord will make them my fo- footstool. Stool. Come up! <laughs> and they will watch. They will watch. The blessings that the Lord has bestowed upon me. <laughs> Is it too much? I know they were shouting. And I know Tyler Perry was shouting. Yes. <laughs> the thing is, they got the motherfucking tour like Universal Studios. They got a replica of the bus. White House. <laughs> I keep cutting near them off because I'm excited. Well, tell them about the White House then. The replica, the only replica of the White House, meaning the same 17 rooms, all of that. I'm assuming he got some type of black show coming on. Uh, so, uh, they might as well bring back Scandal. Bring back Shonda. Is you free? Kerry Washington? You got a moment for them beautiful children? And that chocolate husband? You got a moment to do one more season? And get the story behind why you in the National Portrait Museum? Mm-hmm. And get that lip quiver. Yeah. I'm just so proud, though. Shout out to Tyler Perry. You're right, though. He's about to be on some major... I can't... The thing is, I'm not in the field, so I'm not using the appropriate words... But you're right, like Fox Studios, Universal, like these mega conglomerates yeah, that basically own everything. Like he about to be on some Disney shit. Like Disney's not theme parks, y'all. Disney own theme parks, movies, TV, air, all of that. Mm-hmm. And Tyler is slowly but surely creeping behind him. See, y'all going to be mad when he come up with Jesus Land. <laughs> I'm just, look, I'm just trying to figure out what type of rides if we gonna do it like Universal Studios. So it's gonna be a it's ride. gonna be an acrimony ride with the um <laughs> boat. I'm gonna tell you which Medea movie is gonna be a ride. It's gonna be in the front yard. It's gonna be like a walkthrough Ooh, a maze. It's it gonna be uh what was it? Boo, uh Medea Halloween. Oh Medea Halloween. <laughs> it's gonna be a ride in that old what is it, a Cadillac or Lincoln mm-hmm. she got? Yeah. It's gonna be one of them. I'm gonna go. I'm like, y'all going to Holy Land? Actually, there is a Holy Land in Florida. That's like the replica of the crucifixion site for Jesus. But uh, that's neither here nor there. Other check-ins for me. Y'all, why didn't y'all tell me about this? Remember a few episodes back, I was telling you I my new hobby is going on Reddit. And especially looking on Reddit for the two-sentence horror stories. You remember that, Nero? Yeah, yeah, bring you tell me about it. Um, Well, y'all, they got a TV show on it. So, again, to refresh our memory on Reddit, again, I, I I play on this app all the time just to learn, to see what the others are doing, to get, honestly, they give some good news. They're really good at giving some unbiased news. Like, it's very neutral, states of facts and hacks. But anyway, it's a thread on Reddit, which is a social media app that's just a, uh, what would you describe? Like, it's, a, it's like a forum. A message forum. And in this, people have to tell a scary story in under two sentences. For example, I'll give you an example. So one would be, I held her in my arm and she was cold as ice. And then the next sentence would be like, then the dial blinked. <laughs> You'd be like, what the fuck, bitch? It's a dial. <laughs> like, shit like that. Uh-huh. I guess it don't hit as hard um, when you don't read 10 of them back to back. But what they did with this is on Netflix, it looks like CW picked it up or something. And it's 20 minute stories based off these sentences. So what it does when the show first comes on, it says um, the first line of it. So it'll say, I held her in my arms, cold as stone. And then it'll go into like the whole show. And then at the end of the show, it'll read the last line. And it'll be a way to tell tie everything together. It's creepy. I actually want to watch one of them. One episode is supposed to be super, super creepy. And I started to watch it and I got scared. Um, so I'm gonna have Nero watch it with me tonight. It's only 20 minutes. Oh, as the hospital filled with gun, uh, screams and gunshots, I dove under the bed and wept silently. Mm-hmm. It wasn't until the heavy footsteps approached the ICU that I realized I forgot to grab my newborn daughter. <laughs> One was sad. One was like it was about a puppy. It was like at the vet again. They don't know it was like they said the shot won't hurt. I don't know why my owner is crying. <laughs> ain't, that, ain't that dark? <laughs> You're like, what? 
<laughs> is that what the puppies think? Yeah. They said it won't hurt. I don't know why my owner's crying though. I'm getting a shot. Niram, are you re- have you never read two sentence no, horror never. stories? You see any other that pop your attention? Niram, come on, pick one. I'm just all right, I'm picking a random one. Okay. I'm so glad my grandchildren are at the door, but first let me pull out the cookies uh out the oven. Who's at the door and why is there something in the oven? What? Mm. Okay, dear. Neil's picking bad ones. I'm just picking them at random. One of them was like, I'm so sad. It was like, how did it go? I'm going to have to find something for y'all. It was like, my husband was sad that my suicide didn't work out or some shit like that. You'd be like, wait, who committed the suicide? It was, there's some good ones. The instructions told me to lock the doors, windows, and cover up any cracks. As I heard the sound of clattering metal, I realized I had missed the part of securing the air vents. Come on, Nan, that's not a good one. One was like about a real estate agent. They were like, "We, I heard something like under, what's the little area between the house, the walkway of the house? You know yeah. what I'm talking about? Yeah, crawl space. Yeah, in the crawl space. Uh, it was like, as I went under... I, I heard wood slamming. Like, so they basically like were putting them in there. They're amazing. Y'all should check them out. But if you like a little scary stuff, it's October, it's Halloween time. Look up two sentence horror stories and um, it's on Netflix. And let me know what y'all think about it. I'm going to watch it this week too. Lastly, Simone Biles is killing it. She's at it a fucking again. She's the most decorated, um, is it gymnast or just medalist, period? She's just the baddest because bitch in the world. She just waits out of bed and goes into a double, triple somersault and lands it. Meanwhile, on the ranch, I go to the gym and can only get through 20 medicine balls in three minutes on the stairs. Shout out to Simone Bias. Hey, shout out to Naomi. She killing it. Did you say shout out to... <laughs> Those medicine balls ain't, hard, ain't no hard. The medicine balls. I'd rather do ropes all day than do with a medicine ball. I don't know why that medicine ball is so hard. I'm almost getting weird. What's the thing there? I'm showing there. What's this? Kettlebell. Kettlebell swings. Um, I'm becoming not a fan of those. Why? Not sure. Because it make your titties jump? Yeah, I think it might make my boobs too uncomfortable. Well, the thing is, you ain't never had the proper bras anyway. That's my check-in, Nero. Yeah. <clears throat> what? You're telling me what the fuck to do. Hey, I'm mm-hmm. just saying. Yeah. <laughs> you got to get you a right bra. You know, things just be up in the air. Them things just be going, honey. And I take your bitties in the and air. I wish somebody at the gym would complain. <laughs> But they be slapping together. <laughs> yep. My titties be like, I am tired. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I'm out of it. I'm sleepy. You don't stay sleepy. I am. I like am, a newborn. I am holding on like a thread. By a thread? Yes. That's how sleepy I am. And um, I'm so damn sleepy. I was like, you know what, Naomi? I think I'm going to hire a virtual assistant. A virtual my ass. <laughs> or intern. <laughs> so if anybody <laughs> is looking for an intern position for the Black Love Matters podcast, shoot us an email because I'm sleepy. Niram is so dramatic. Niram, do you realize Nayam's had multiple jobs? I understand Doing that. Doing the Nayam. podcast. Nayam's. Did not miss Nayam's. a beat. Baby, I'm not, here. I'm not here to play uh, Oppression Olympics. I'm you not. Know. I listen. Uh-huh. It's not. It's not bragging when it's a fact. Okay. I'm simply stating the fact. And that's cool. Don't let your masculinity get in the way of that. And that's cool. You you have you have a different breaker point to me, and I commend you. <laughs> I commend it. Did you say a breaking point? <laughs> yes, and I commend you for it. <laughs> what are you talking you're, about? A you're breaking a, point. You're a resilient motherfucker. Meanwhile, I'm over here trying to get uh, get out this pain and say, you know what? I make enough money. I can pay somebody to do this. Jesus. Y'all be getting on him. I'm like, we got to do this podcast. I be sleepy. I think Nero's like, ain't nobody listening. Y'all ain't listening to us no more. <laughs> I be sleepy. They listen. I just okay. be sleepy. Okay. And that's what it comes down to. Like, um, my body hasn't really jet uh, lag adjusted is from the minute. jet lag. Yeah. So I'm still sleeping from that, and like my body don't know if um is it nighttime, is it daytime. I just know every night for the past week I've been waking up at three a.m. and like not being able to go back to sleep. Did you take melatonin at night? Yes. The thing is, whenever not I take CBD, melatonin, melatonin, no, whenever I take the melatonin, that's usually when I wake back up at two, huh. and just be fucking refreshed. 
looking around at 2 a.m. You say refreshing. Yeah, so much so that I just get out the bed. I say, fuck it. Because I get tired of like tossing and turning for like two hours. Oh, well, when you get up, you ever thought to like put the laundry up or? No, because or like. dishes? Well, if I do the laundry, then I, I wake you up mm. and then you be like, why are you? You've already woken me up. Why? Why? How? Because M- Mabel hears you and then as soon as you leave the room, Mabel jump in the bed. Okay. Don't you like that? No. Don't you like cuddles? Because she, dis- dis- she get disrespectful. Oh. She just walk over me. Hmm. Like she said, excuse me, bitch. I like this pillow. So. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe whenever you leave, she jumps in the bed. So my body is just all all over the place. And the thing is, I still got a lot more traveling to do. I got Detroit. I got Me New too. York. I'm oh. running marathons. Oh. We got actually a special vacation in November, y'all. We went mm-hmm. to Jamaica. Uh, oh, I forgot. I don't even know if I should be telling y'all this. What? I'm going to be shooting a commercial. This nigga gonna shoot a whole ass commercial, but he won't let us reveal our identity. <laughs> it's so dumb. People are gonna be so underwhelmed. Before we reveal ourselves, I gotta go in the fast. I'm gonna lose a hot five. I'm shooting a commercial. <laughs> and I can't tell y'all because I signed the NDA for the brand. But just know it's a national brand. It's not with Black Love Matters. No. I'm not gonna be on Mm-mm. it. It's for my other stuff. It's for my. If, it's Can for you my see if they wanna do Black Love Matters? What? I don't know. Well, whatever. You- <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, anyways, your boy making like moves. So, you know, I'm getting to the point where I need a, uh, I need an intern. I need a VA. You to for hand- real? Yeah. Or are you playing? No, for real. I need like an intern. I need some. V- I need a VA. A V. There's a difference between an intern and VA. I think a VA is definitely more um, transactional, right? You pay them for this, but I think if you get an intern, there's a different level of commitment and teaching you have to commit to. Well, I need somebody to put these show notes together. <laughs> And, that and, could be a level of growing too. It depends yeah. what they're um and to manage our uh, our Instagram and Twitter. Yeah, I mean social for all the messages. Social media stuff. manager is a real job, honey. I understand that, a but I need of- I need an intern or VA to do both. To manage all the emails that we get, mm-hmm. uh, put together our show notes so they like produce the show. So all we gotta do is just uh go in there and talk. Well I'm a I'm a little micromanaging, so okay. I will need them by a certain time, and I would need at least 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. So they have to also be able to talk with Nyambi yeah. and keep my identity a secret. Mm-hmm. No, so, it's not that serious. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so they, it's not that serious. They're going to have to sign the NDA, too. <laughs> For who? <laughs> For Black Love Matters. For the, Mabel, too? Yes. Nira, what is, is this something you caught in I don't know about? No. Is I am? No. no. You know, we didn't kept it. We can kept it this now long. Now it's just a get. It's just one of them things where you don't went so deep. Yeah, in. you didn't win it this long. Well, shit, I'm not just about to give it up. Just to all the, willy nilly. I don't care if we only do one live show. <laughs> Honey, the way we work, and it might ain't going to be no live show. We just all going to go on vacation together. So, yeah, if anybody interested, for a real, VA for real. or intern. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay. Am I'm, I going to manage them or are you managing them? I'm going to let you manage them. Y'all don't want not y'all. Be. Yes, y'all do. <laughs> y'all don't want me. I'm a great um, manager. Yeah, that's I why do, I'm having you I do am it. Am inv- that is one of my specialties. Let me get to the people N- manage. I'm gonna get the NDA written out. What is it gonna? I'm just like, what is it? What? What are they gonna like reveal? What we're having on the show? Or no, reveal what we look like. I don't know. Nick, shit. It didn't tell who they mama. The world. Because they're going to be managing this, our social medias. What, I mean, what's the worst they can do? Put our picture on the Instagram yeah. page? And just take, it just take all the thunder away. <laughs> no, it'll be underwhelming. Yeah. It'll be like, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, these, these, this, these niggas? <laughs> these some basic niggas. They look like my cousins. Mm-hmm. Let's take a love bath. Okay, well, reach out. Yeah. I guess we're doing that. Yeah, I, that would be fun. That'd be a different... Um, the thing is, we we That's busy. That's my area I thrive in. I I'm like busy. It. I'm tired. I'm kind of busy, too. You busy. Mabel busy. We're all busy. Can the intern live <laughs> and come get Mabel, too? Yeah. <laughs> we just had no types of shit. Can you come walk, Mabel? <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm I'm doing it for both of them. I'm doing it for my, my health and fitness, too. That's true. That is true. Since I've been working out, it does take the time that I'm working out, those three, four, five hours a week 
are hours I would have been doing like podcasts or mm-hmm. researching or watching something. And it does, it does eat away at your time. Yeah. And you know, trying to free up some time for me and you. Yeah. Or just with, like me and you, of course, but also family and friends. So that time we spend prepping on this, a time we don't really spend connecting and engaging with them. Too. Mm-hmm. Also, it is a skill set, right? So if you're interested in this and you want to, interested in podcasting, you're interested in digital media and design, social marketing, influencing, mm-hmm. all those, I can help you with your resume. We can flip this mm-hmm. um, however you need to. To, uh, to do it. Well, also, if you just need some money, you ain't always about to flip it, child. Nyan was at the bot store two years ago. Sometimes you just need some coinage. Mm-hmm. If you just need some coins. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Well, yeah. All right. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm sleepy. So, what are they? Um, yeah, come on. What are they? Do they email us? Are you gonna put a form out? No, just shoot us an email. Black Love Matters. But Nyan might follow up with the application. Yeah, Nyan be gonna follow up with all that. But y'all should just go ahead and send us an email. Nero would do the first vet stage, yeah. and then I'll follow up with some real. And y'all questions. niggas better come correct too. What is incorrect? <laughs> so I put out. Uh, I, I'm looking for a VA or intern on my uh, on my other social media, and somebody just just uh, sent the response uh, in the email in the subject line and said, "I'll be it." <laughs> and that for the longest for, for the me. longest for like for two me. hours I was looking at this shit like what the hell they mean I'll be it you think it's somebody you told them to send you a reminder yeah. or you trying to remember what you're supposed to do and it's like I'll be it and I say what the fuck is that did you send a question mark back yeah cause eventually I was like well what is this I was like what are you referring to <laughs> now did you talk, tell me your cubicle warrior voice again <laughs> what are you referring First. to <laughs> and they said the the thing you put on instagram you looking for a va or an intern no ma'am and you just gonna say i'll be it could you imagine meanwhile a senior in college is like hey it sent me a little uh a little letter. Let, cover letter a little resume and shit i'm like you know what i might mentor you yeah, so if we got folks in school or want to be mentored, like that might be, of course, you still get paid. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you're looking for that type of like direction and, you know. Yeah, shoot that space, email. Let us know. Resume or something, your experience. I have mean, you don't have to be VA? a whole cover letter, but I would expect at least five sentences. Have you been to VA before? You know how you, to. Can you type? Can yeah, you, can you deal with niggas? Can, yes, can you deal with <laughs> niggas? Are you in the know of all the gossips and. Uh, happenings that's happening in the world uh, other keywords we need high attention to detail we need someone who's comfortable walk, working in autonomy while still partnering collaborating with others we're looking for someone who's seeking to increase their influential and strategic thinking skills yeah was it? all the things Nyambi said yeah. as well as I need you to read the Shade Room <laughs> and all the other black publications Shade Room Essence uh, listen to all black podcasts is that it Stand it, yeah. What what's the other one? Very smart brothers. Uh, because of them, we can. Oh, I, I uh, look at all those. Good black news. But then Nayambi gonna request you look at some other shit. Psychology Today, CNN, CNN, PBS, CNBC, I really like PBS, MSNBC. Niggas just need to be in a know. Yeah, someone in the know. Mm-hmm. But that's what it is to be a social media. Um, Yes, your field. Is it called a marketer? What you mean? Or a social media program manager? Yeah. Is that because as you increase that skill, the way you would flip that skill is if you're interested in marketing, because you can create a social media strategy and marketing for engagement. And the way that you can show your impact that you made and add it to your resume is talk about how you grew, like the following, the touches, the impact. Of mm-hmm. Like that's how you want to refer yeah. to it. How you produce the podcast. Yeah. Who get? Okay, that was enough infomercial for us. Mm-hmm. Are we doing a, um, but send it at Black Love Matters. That's black and okay. Yeah. Pillow Talk. Nero yeah. insisted on watching this. And Nero ain't said, insisted on nothing. Let's talk about it, Nero. Y'all seen Finding Chingy on, what is it called? BT YouTube. BT <laughs> YouTube better than TV. It is. They I don't know why they just don't bring it to regular TV. The BT, whoever is doing the content for BT YouTube should get a promotion and take over. What is even on BT now? I don't know. Well, about to be Tyler Perry. He ain't coming into the end of the month, the first of the year, right? I don't know. That, he ain't I just on yet. Come. No, he ain't on yet. Because other than that, niggas just be putting on Martin. <laughs> <laughs> it just be all the reruns. Yeah, it got to the point where I said, I done seen this. And just be all the fucking reruns. I said, I done seen this, Martin. Um, yeah. 
they need to do something better than that. Whoever is on like their social media and like content, online content, content creation is good. They are fucking killing. They need it. a promo. They need a promotion instantly. Because whoever came up with this like finding series, it it's interesting. And yeah. And it's like our modern day. Uh, what's that one that was on? Um, TV one. TV one. Uh, unsung. Unsung. Yeah. So it's like our modern day unsung. Yeah, because unsung felt like if you was on there, you was clear near death. Mm-hmm. Like unsung just was like you got fuck fucked over. But on finding. You know, it's some bad ones, but it's also some people like, oh, you okay? Right. You you, you making it? You know, still some people want to find. Like, I want to find rich boy. Who is? Oh, throw some D's on that bitch. Holly yeah. Berry. Mm-hmm. That him. Yeah. Who else you want to be on finding? Uh, who else I want to be on finding? Uh, what happened to uh, Babyface? He's a legend. Don't do that. Hey, that nigga. Don't do that to me. What well, like face. finding LaFace records? Like don't, no, you're the artist. <laughs> no, let's, uh, he's a legend. He don't need to be on it. He'll be on, like more on an unsung or something like that. Or uh, I forgot the name of that other show. But maybe some of the LaFace artists like will be on Finding it. CeeLo Green. Don't like, do that. What? I want to know Cee-Lo what happened. CeeLo Green is popular. But, the dungeon fan. Yeah. But where the nigga at? I ain't seen him in a while. You said just people we looking for. Right. It's just people I'm looking for. Oh my God. Music I'm looking for. Finding uh Andre three thousand. He been found he stop naming legends. I know that nigga been found, but shit, I wanna know why this nigga just be out playing flutes and shit. And just being <laughs> um be in Lake Merritt. Niram is being disrespectful. What? You're I'm I'm telling you the people I wanna be found. Who else? Pastor Troy. Yeah, that's a good one. Find them past Detroit. Where his ass at? Oh, I got one. What about Yin Yang twins? Yeah. Find the Yin Yang twins. Yeah, I guess it is some of them. There's so many I want to find. Shit. Bone Crusher. Find the Bone Crusher. Where that nigga been at? Them franchise boys. Oh. <laughs> what about Terror Squad? No. She, yeah. Find them Fabo. Did he die? Oh, no, no. No, that was. Um... <laughs> R.I.P. Shorty Love. That was Shorty Love. So it's people I want to find. Yeah. Like uh, the background dancer from the St. Lunatics. Like, where that nigga at? <laughs> Finding young bloods. <laughs> oh, is that if you don't give a damn, we don't give a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but y'all tell me y'all won't watch it. That's the thing. It's just so many people I just want found. And like, just give me a backstory. Said, I just want them found right now. Exactly. I'm trying to see who else I won't find. Shit. It's a good one. Nelly been quiet for a while. What that nigga up to? Yeah, we can bring Nelly. Yes, he's borderline legend status. He deserves respect. Yeah, but shit. Where you been? <laughs> shit. Finding Shauna. Exactly. Who else do I want? Who would, no, I, we need to like go back to 106 and Park. We just need to do a countdown. Right. Big Gip. Where Big who Gip is at? Big Gip? <laughs> From the dungeon family. Oh, with them teethers. Yeah. And he like very long. Mm-hmm. I agree. What okay, but what did you or like? Or about, about Maya? Shannon? Where Maya at? Oh, Maya. She's on that boat with little Kim. Oh, what well, uh, she needed to be found too. But song wise, Cisco. Drew exactly. Hill. Drew Hill. All them niggas. What's the one who says the kids and the dog, I want it all. You nothing but a liar, a cheater, a deceiver. <laughs> who seen that? I don't know. Silk. Ludacris, where that nigga been? Ludacris at? is a legend. That nigga need to be found too. I ain't seen Come him on, since. Come on, uh, How did you like Chingy? What else is going on? How did you like? Like Chingy? Monica, like finding Monica's Monica. Monica's a legend. You're tiptoeing. Tell us about Chingy. What did you like about it, Nero? Twister. Like where Twister ass at? Yeah, we could do a finding Twister. Like where that nigga? At? It's a lot of people that need to be found. Okay. Um, I think Chingy was interesting. It was a little bit slower than the rest of them. Nyambi ass kept getting them mixed up between Twink. Uh, Chingy and Jaquan. <laughs> they don't remind you the same people? Because they all from St. Louis, so they got that same twang. Oh, were they, is that what that is? Yes. Okay, I knew something was there. Like, you know, so it, it, it was, his was a little bit slower, but I, I think it was still interesting how he talked about, like, how he wrote right there when he was, like, 16 and how he got hooked up with uh, Disturbing the Peace. Like, that's another uh, company. That did. That's why I said yeah. Little Chris is a legend. He brung it through a lot of people. He was a sound. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think he wouldn't a few rappers that ain't lose all his money. 
Because that's how I started acting. Yeah. <laughs> but then, you know, they're just playing like all the Chingy bops. Chingy has some bops. Yeah, yeah right hit there. Uh, what was the, the other right one? The right there was irritating. That was the crossover one. What's the one with Tyrese? Holding me back, me back. Mm-hmm. That that sound. Dude, what was that a remake from? What SWV? Mm-hmm. Um, Rain. Yeah. That was a bop. That's when Tyrese was singing, and I don't know that that definitely took me back to my childhood, teenage years. And what was the other one? Use my baby. I don't know that song with Jason Weaver, mm-hmm. the black guy. Yeah, he was really good too. But other than that, it was just interesting. It was just interesting, you know, to hear his story, his uh, his his path to I want to say righteousness, but his path to success, to his path to downfall, right? Mm-hmm. And like how those things came along and. More or less, the other thing is, it's always like a cautionary tale with yeah. these niggas. Like, you just don't know what the hell you're going through. Yeah. Like, he ended up fucking up a record deal because he had a lawyer that somebody looked at it, but they asked, wasn't even an entertainment lawyer. They ain't know what this nigga's like a at. tax lawyer, some bullshit. Yeah, they don't know what they're looking at. Mm-hmm. No, I think it was really, really good, too. Um, how about Finding Chameleonaire? Where the hell is he? <laughs> Where is he? Let me stop. Um, you know what I want to talk about? You see about? me rolling. That was the sound of a year. I don't know what year it was, but that was a sound of a year, and all you heard was that. <laughs> catch me riding dirty. Or rolling mm. dirty, one of them. Want to catch me riding dirty. Can we briefly talk about Love and Hip Hop Alabama, a.k.a. Um, what is it called again? Love and Marriage Huntsville. Huntsville. Y'all know they done came back for part two of their season. We ain't talk about them much. I thought it was over the next year, but it looked like they just took a pause. Mm. And um, we talked about them probably about 10, 12 episodes ago. So what it is, it's these four couples or three? Three. Three, three couples. They're from um, Alabama, Huntsville. Is that Huntsville? Am I saying that right? Yeah. Yeah. And they, they're well off, right? So they're entrepreneurs, builders, real estate agents, lawyers, I think. I don't, I don't forgot, right? They're definitely well off, and they're all friends. Actually, I don't know if they're really friends. Two of them are brothers, and one of them are friends. They might be frenemies, now that I think about it. And what they did, they created, like, this nonprofit together or this business together called the Comeback Group, which I hate the name of it every time they say it. Mm-hmm. Comeback Group! Comeback Group! And what it is, is basically an initiative to get more people to come back, like, to Huntsville. So since all of their specialties is, like, in real estate and building, like, they build homes that are affordable for, like, brown people to come back in the city, black owned, all that type of stuff. Well, the first half of the season was all about them bullshitting on just making these two houses. Like, how much they gonna sell it for? Who gonna build it? How much it should go? All that, all that foolishness, and they kept falling out. Mm-hmm. But what came from it was one of the couples, Melody and who? Mar- Martell. I don't yeah. get all their names wrong. They, a younger couple, but it turned out he was cheating on her. We ain't talking about baby cheating. What that guy, what was it? Ha Ha Davis, cheating, cheating. <laughs> so meaning having a whole last another life for like three years. So that's kind of where the last season end. And now we're picking it back up. And his wife, Melody, is like, I don't know. He been cheating. You going to live in a doghouse. You stay over there. And the black guy, her husband, is trying to basically get back in her good graces. Mm-hmm. Did he just come off a little cavalier to be like, ain't you going to forgive me? It's like he thought he was just going to sleep on the couch for a week. And she was going to be like, come on back, Martell. So I think he's a little thrown off by that, but he's finally seeing a the therapist. Mm-hmm. And can we talk about how much you love his therapist? This his therapist, therapist put him in ass. check. His therapist is an old black man who constantly tells him, "You ain't shit. You not shit." Mm-hmm. And what are you talking about? Because even the way he was like describing the woman that mm-hmm. he was with in this relationship, she, what did he? What words did he use? He was like she was like a scum of the earth. I don't know what the hell she. Was and saying. everybody was like, "What? Why are you just fucking her then?" Yeah. So just that's petty. Other people in the group is this other group named Kimmy, and I forgot that other man name, the light skinned guy. Uh, Maurice. Yeah. Didn't I ever say that? Oh, and Maurice. They're mm-hmm. a little bit older, and they're blending families. So, Melody, no, Kimmy, that's what I said her name is, right? Yeah. Yeah, Kimmy has an older child. I think it's just about grown. You can tell she probably had an ancient nigga and she had to like work all her life to do all this good stuff. The other guy, he also got a child, but I think he had, you know how sometimes men have transformations when they, like he was like wine. So he's got older, he got better Mm -hmm. because the way they was hinting when he was younger, he was a booger wooger. And it looks like his other previous baby mamas would have when he was a booger wooger. And now he done metamorphosed from a booger wooger to a butterfly. Mm -hmm. And there's some animosity there. So the tea with them two is that 
he done invited his baby mama from Detroit to come live down in Huntsville with them. Cool, right? You want to be near your son. And the baby mother has a husband. Like, mm-hmm. I'm thinking, like, did you have a conversation of, like, so our son can live with us during his teenage years? And maybe it would be best if he, like, we all live in close proximity. Mm-hmm. Do you know what this, which I don't think there's nothing wrong with it. His wife got pissed at him, though, because he said he recommended they do that and have the conversation. But then he said he'll pay for their mortgage. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking in my head, if I was the baby mama, I'd tell my husband, pack your shit up. I got this dumb nigga to pay for our mortgage. Like, what? What do you think about? And his wife, Kimmy, was very upset with that because he didn't even consult with her. Mm-hmm. What do you think about that? Do you think that needs to be consulted with? <laughs> yeah, he should have talked to us. It's significant. Before other, you paying a whole ass mortgage? But, you know, it ain't tricking unless you got it. How much is the mortgage in Alabama? $3? I'll tell you one thing. Not Colonizer Valley. Come on. We couldn't do that out here. Mm-mm. So that's their tea. And then the last couple is the ridiculous couple. What's her name? Tasha. Yeah. She just. I'm trying not to talk too bad about this one. Finding Petey Pablo. <laughs> <laughs> she just reminds me of a stereotypical like black Southern belle who like went to school to get him her MRSs. Like she just reminds me of like. The black girl who went to undergrad, like, pledged AKA, and is, like, 30 sits and still wear her crossing jacket. Why are you reading somebody who listening <laughs> to this podcast right now? I'm going to let you right now. If you are not at a conference of Boulay, don't wear your crossing jacket. <laughs> it's inappropriate. From, You've 20 aged year, from 20 years ago? I mean, you can wear it. But there's a time and place to wear it. Not so, in Trader Joe's is not the place. So let's say they're 39. Let's say they cross around like, like 19, 20. I'm not saying. <laughs> I, you're snatched, so you're still doing it. But what I need you to do, sis, is go buy you a nice London fall jacket. London fall jacket. I'm going to need you to go to Banana Republic and get you a nice wool coat. And don't wear your crossing jacket. So that, that And everyone knows what I'm talking about. So that's her. But sweet girl, smart. But then she got old Marcel, old, old misogynistic. How would you describe him? A straight player. He, <laughs> but the thing is, he don't hide it. No. Like, he the one who was, like, mad at her because she was going to work. You're talking about, well, who's going to make dinner and watch the kids? <laughs> Nigga, your kids? <laughs> who's going to make you dinner? You. So they're going through their own thing. Their thing is, so going back to the first couple I was talking about, what Melody is insinuating is that well, everybody is insinuating. Everybody's insinuating is Melody was like, "Well, my husband ain't start cheating with me until he start hanging out with you niggas." <laughs> and they was like, "What are you?" So the girl who the neo the forty year old neo fight, um, is <laughs> 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 like what. So she first went to the old misogynistic old. He reminded me of Mister from Color Purple. So she go to Mister and was like, "Did you cheat on me?" And he was like, "I don't even know what you want me. To, I don't even know what you want me to say to that, nigga. Did, no, that's what I want you to say." <laughs> but that's the thing that's going on now. And Melanie basically was like, "Y'all niggas ain't shit." And then of course her husband gonna back it up and to be like, he felt as if the, his, the, his boys ain't have his back because it's like you know I'm sleeping on the couch, I'm going through this, and you niggas cracking jokes, and you cracking jokes like I just got caught. And they was like, what you talking about? He's like, you know you got girlfriends? And they all, not all of them, they the Holy Ghost. Who said that? I ain't gonna break my, my, break my grace-based covenant. <laughs> so someone's lying. Who said that? What you think about all that? They're, that was that a nigga, lie. That nigga blew up the spot. He blew up the spot it, on it, all of them. He's like, nigga, what? And none of them niggas have given straight answers. <laughs> no one has said, I have not cheated. They, have, they ain't do the Bill Clinton. Mm-mm. I did not have sexual relations with any of these people. Who said that? Who said that? Nigga, when someone accused you that, you wouldn't be like, no, I ain't fucking around. Uh, I think I would just be very clear. I'm like, I'm not fucking but around. The thing is, they probably just so taken aback. It's like, this nigga <laughs> that said this shit on camera. <laughs> On, be very on, careful. On Tyler Perry's studio. Oh, st- I'm the studio about to lot. punch this nigga. <laughs> and y'all, you know they in the country. <laughs> so you know they be trying to keep it together. And you can see where they slide back in that dialect a little bit. Because they get to stutter. <laughs> but outside of that, Nero, do you think being a man, depending on the circles you ran in, is it that heavy of an influence? Is it really like love and hip hops? When they go to the cabin, and if they one nigga is messing around, 
all the niggas just continue to mess around? Do it just become like carbon monoxide and y'all just <laughs> smell it and it's just like, oh, you cheat and we all cheat? Well, I'm just asking. Because that really don't happen with women. Like, women, we don't go on vacations to cheat. Like, we don't all gather together and be like, yeah, let's go fuck around on these niggas. I don't know because I don't have enough friends to even go to a cabin and find out. So you don't know no stories? Nope. You don't know no niggas? Did, have any, I think I keep asking them the same question. Have any of your friends explicitly cheated on like their partner? And I'm not talking about like just dating, right? I'm not talking about dating multiple people. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, have any of your friends in a committed monogamous relationship ever cheated and like came and told you about it? Not that I know of. Ain't nobody told me. Neil, don't be asking nor looking. I I don't care. That'd be the thing. But I think it is something to care. Who would you care about? What you mean? Who like would there be anyone that you'll be like? I don't know if that's cool. Like, if you fucking around, like, I ain't gonna be the one to go dry snitch and, like, send a text to your old girl or your guy, whoever you with. But, but that's kind of fucked up. But the difference between me and you is that you 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 go and try to be up in people's businesses. Oh. I got. I enough. do not be in people's yes, business. Yes, you people, do. I just be like, what you did today, girl? And they was like, fucked around on this nigga? <laughs> yes, <laughs> you do. And I'm like, wow. And the thing is, I got enough business of my own that I can't keep up with nobody else's. So I don't even ask. I ask yeah you do you be like what you doing what y'all in a phone to? conversation you're supposed to you ask. you got anything interesting going on and I'm like well you know going out who are you going you out with? with and then they get caught and they lie with a friend oh who ooh. What, what friends i know what's all your friends you know, what's their names man. you know i was asked what's their name you know lifetime <laughs> just in case they go cut crazy Johnny? Who Who's the f- Johnny? Johnny? He I work with you? <laughs> Where you meet Johnny at? <laughs> at the club. What, what club? club? The workout? Club man. <laughs> Where you? What club? <laughs> I don't so do now, Yes, you do. <laughs> now, you, you go down the, the, the deep thing. I have to ask Nia, do I do that to him? <laughs> you do. Every time he tell me about a new person. <laughs> what club? <laughs> what Meanwhile, near him, oh, what you got going on? Oh, I'm just hanging out with some friends. All right, oh, cool. Oh, that's cool. I want to know the friends, mm. how long y'all known each other, when we done met. Cool. Does any different, would I like the friends? I asked our friends that, would I like them? Look, can I come? <laughs> I don't ask, can I come? <laughs> he, he comes like, can me, me near him, Mabel come? <laughs> like, no, get out their business. <laughs> I didn't realize I'd do all that. Mm-hmm. Near him, how do you have conversations with people? I just have conversations, babe. You said so. You saying I ask too many questions? Yeah, you do. But you know, you're a very inquisitive mind. You know, that's what you do for a living. You ask a lot of questions. <laughs> me, like you tell me what you're gonna tell me, and that be it. Because the thing is, like I said, I got too much business of my own to try to. And he'll be like, I didn't realize I do do that. They be like about to get into something. What? Yeah, well, I'm about to get up into something. Mm, you know, I still got, you know, I still got old school black men, and I still speak in parables. What you, how you be speaking? <laughs> well, how you doing? Oh, you know, you know, just trying to make it, trying to make it, trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents. Oh, my God. No, you, know, you, no, you couldn't say that to me. I'd be like, so is you working? Yeah, look, rubbing two nickels together to try to make a million. What? I'm trying to figure out which way to go. I started, I started clockwise. Now I'm going counterclockwise. Now I'm going to try up and down. But don't give me no wooden nickels. Don't give me no wooden nickels, though. What the hell? Look, huh? Nyambi's confused. <laughs> Otherwise, meanwhile, Nyambi. So, what are you trying to do again? <laughs> what does that look like? You know, that'd be my next thing. You know, I'm just trying You're to You're free rub, to FaceTime. I'm trying to rub two nickels together and make a quarter. That's my new thing. You're free to FaceTime. Where you at? <laughs> Who am I talking to? You know, it'd be that deep, whatchamacallit. So, that's how you be. I know. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Oh, near him. All right. I know you're tired. Go ahead and close this on out, baby. Well, as always, to submit your black love story, go to blacklovematters.com. To submit a question for Kitchen Table Talk, shoot us an email at blacklovematters at gmail.com. To submit your application for an intern. <laughs> <laughs> so we can get longer than a 45 minute podcast. <laughs> you go ahead and submit that to blacklovematters at gmail.com. We need an intern. We can give y'all some two hour ones. <laughs> Uh, we got that. We got that SoundCloud. And we got that voicemail. That's at five zero eight seven eight four one 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 one. That's five zero eight seven eight four one 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 one. Talk to y'all later. Remember, love, love is, is ever evolving. evolving. Peace. Peace. I, I think you was too tired to get into your uncle.
Mm, sleepy in a mug.